selector shoulder press. So this is one of the new sort of breed of equipment where it allows you to have multiple loading pins and that allows you to customize the part of that range of motion that you are looking to load. So on one of these machines, when you have the weight on the top pin, you are going to get more load in the length and range at the bottom of the rep. And then as that reaches closer and closer to directly above that pivot point, the load backs off. And this is the pin we're going to use most with one of these because what it allows you to do is again, is going to emphasize the length and range, which is most beneficial for muscle growth and also incidentally where you are strongest. And it's going to allow you to, if you use that top pin, have the load back off in the weaker shortened range, therefore maximizing your output in the beneficial part of the rep. So other than getting the right loading pin, this is the same as any other shoulder press. We want to have it set up so our forearms are pretty much vertical to the floor at the bottom of the rep. And then we're going to avoid pushing our hips way out and turning it into a chest press. Keep your lower back slight arch, but hips close to the bench. Drive on that way up, nice and slow on the way down, making sure we're getting good range of motion coming down to at least level with the chin, if not slightly below. So we're emphasizing that length and range.